Hi all, hope all students are fine. Today this is our third video of the series. So in this video we are going to discuss unit 2 PYQs and answers. We already uploaded two videos of unit 1. Those who didn't visit our channel, please visit and go through the videos. Okay, if you find it helpful, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Okay, so if you have any suggestions too, please put it in the comment section. It will be an encouraging hand for us. So, let's get started. So, the first question is, define a private company. Distinguish between a public company and a private company. So, first we are going to discuss what you mean by private company. So, section 2. 68 of Company Act of 2013 defines private companies are those companies whose articles of association restrict the transferability of shares and also prevent the public from subscribing the shares. Okay, so two points you have to note that is private companies are not supposed to subscribe shares from the public along with that their transfer of shares are restricted, right? So, let's look into the features of private companies. First feature is no minimum capital required. But in the previous company law, that is the company law of 1956, minimum capital requirement was there. It was 1 lakh, but that is omitted now. Okay. So, second point is minimum and maximum number. As we all know, minimum number is 2 for a private company and maximum is limited to 200, right? Then transferability of shares restricted. Then when a, when a company is registered as a private one, it has to add private limited in the next right. Then last point is privileges and exemptions. Since private companies cannot transfer their shares in a free manner and along with that they cannot, sub, they cannot take a subscription from the public, they are enjoying certain exceptions and privileges. These privileges and exemptions are not applicable in the case of a public company, right? Now, what are the differences between public company and a private company? Okay, on the base of certain criteria, we can distinguish public company and a private company. So, the first is minimum number. Minimum members of a public company is 7 and private limited company is so, minimum director for a public company is 3, whereas for a private company it is 2. Maximum members is limited for a private company that to limit 200, but in the case of a public company, it is an unlimited one. Invitation to the public, that is applicable in the case of a public company, but it is not applicable in the case of a private company. Then, minimum capital requirement is not needed in the case of a private company as per company act of 2013 but it is applicable in the case of public limited company and that is file act. then issue of prospectus is possible in the case of public limited company but it is not applicable in the case of private company then quorum at agm what do you mean by agm agm means annual general meeting so for a private limited company, two members are needed for a quorum at annual general meeting. But in the case of a public company, if the number of members presenting on that date of meeting is less than 1000, then quorum members should be 5. If it is between 1000 to 5000, then 15 members should be there. If it is more than 5000, 30 members should be there at the quorum at annual general meeting. Okay? Now, in the case of retirement of directors, for a public limited company, rotation basis directors are getting changed. But in the case of private limited company, no any requirement of rotation. Then public deposit is free to accept in the case of public limited company, not accept in the case of private limited company. Managerial remunerations cannot exceed more than 11% of the net profit in the case of a public limited company. But in the case of a private limited company, no such restrictions are prevailing. Okay. Then statutory meeting, that is mandatory meeting. So mandatory meetings are for the public company, but it is not applicable in the case of private company. So these are the 
basic differences between public limited company and a private limited company so it is one of the important questions of this unit okay now the last question of the day so what are the procedures for converting a private company into a public company and a public company into a private company okay so first we are going to deal with conversion of a public company into a private company so section 14 so for all these things section 14 is the uh, section 14 is dealing with the conversion of public company into private company so when we are converting a public company into a private company certain steps are involved in the conversion so the first step is passing of a special resolution at general meeting so for a special resolution passing a general meeting articles alteration also happen what do you mean by articles alteration in the case of a public company there is no limit for the ma maximum members and there is free transfer of shares possible and if they can subscribe shares from the public but these are not applicable in the case of a private company when a company is getting converted from a public to the private it has to alter the article so that ha that is happening in the general meeting that is happening at general meeting right then second point is after the resolution got passed and the alteration of articles happened then second one is changing the name of the company the company's name will be changed to private limited company then after that it has to obtain tribunal's approval after completing the first three steps these details should be furnished before the register within 15 days once the register's approval also obtained after that the company's conversion from public to private limited company will be completed right so these are the four steps involved in the conversion of a public company into private company now we are moving to the last part that is a conversion of a private company into public company for that also section 14 is there so section 14 of company act of 2013 here post here also four steps are there so the first step is passing of a special resolution like the previous case and here also the alteration happens and then increase in the membership here increase in membership so what is the significance of increase in membership in the case of a private company the minimum number is minimum number of members is two but it has to increase to seven for a public limited company it minimum number of members is seven so it has to if it is less than seven it can uh, the private company has to increase its num membership to seven okay then increase in the number of directors we already discussed that number of directors in a private company is two but in a public company it is three right then last one is dropping the word private then after that when a company is getting changed to public to in a private to public it has to drop the word private from it companies okay so these are the four steps involved in the conversion of a private company to public company okay here so all the furnished all the relevant documents should be submitted before the register within 15 days and once his approval is obtained then only the conversion of private company into public company will be taken into effective right so these are the important questions of unit two. so that's the end of this unit okay so we finished first two units okay so remaining units videos we will upload within one or two days okay so please go through these videos okay if you like the videos please like share and subscribe stay safe stay calm study hard less days are there before the exams okay so concentrate more on studies so take care all of you we'll meet again with the next video until then it's bye